Reflection on John 14. Today's reflection is going to use that Ignatian spirituality which enables us to enter into a Bible story. The invitation is to listen carefully to the story and then to imagine yourself in that place. It's not really about knowing what, exactly what it would have looked like. This isn't a historical exercise. It's about the experience of hearing the scriptures, allowing your imagination to do the work, and then spending time in the presence of God. To begin this meditation, find a place where you are comfortable. Make sure that your feet are on the ground comfortably, that you are seated in a position that will remain comfortable for the duration. It's often good to have a back to your seat so that you can lean against it. You may find it more comfortable to uncross your legs and you'll want to find a position for your hands. As you still yourself, start to notice your breathing, but don't change it. You might find that you are distracted by noises outside. Notice those sounds. and then allow them to disappear. You'll probably find it better to close your eyes, which I invite you to do now. John Chapter 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, 
I will do it. So take a moment to imagine that scene. This is the scene of the Last Supper in that upper room. Jesus is there and 11 of the disciples. Judas has already left. So where are you in this scene? What can you see? What can you hear? What food have you eaten? Who are you close to? Who is further away? As you imagine that scene, remember the context. This is after Palm Sunday. Jesus knows that his life is in danger. How is he responding? Consider his words. Do not let your hearts be troubled. How do you hear those words? The disciples respond in different ways. When Jesus speaks about the disciples knowing where he is going, Thomas says that he does not know where he is going. How do you feel? about Thomas's response. And what about Jesus's answer? I am the way and the truth and the life. Take a moment now to explore that phrase. Do so knowing that Jesus is very close. What does it mean for Jesus to be your way? Have there been times in your life when the way hasn't been clear? What has helped you in those times? Who has helped you? How do you help others when the way isn't clear? What does it mean for Jesus to be the truth?
how do we discover what is true? Who helps and guides us? Nurtures and encourages us? Have you experienced times when the truth has not been clear? How have you come to understand better? And what does it mean for Jesus to be the life? Can you think of those times when you have felt most fully alive? What has been important at those times? Who has been important at those times? As we return to our story, it is Philip who has something to say. He says, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus responds, do you not believe that I am in the Father? and the Father is in me. How do you feel when Jesus says those words? Look around at the disciples. Do you think they understand? How do you think they feel? Who do you identify with most? Can you see in each of the disciples ways that you sometimes respond? And focus once again on Jesus. Jesus, who is the way the truth and the life, who is full of compassion and love. Take some time to rest in the presence of Jesus. To know that you are loved. that Jesus loves you. John chapter 14. 
Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me, that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. So, gradually... It is time to move your feet, wiggle your toes, move your fingers and your hands. Listen for the noises outside and the noises inside. And when you are ready, gently open your eyes and return to this time and this place. <laughs> 